for questions. Questions meant to help residents prepare for more days of freezing temperatures. One question, what are the signs you're overexposed? It may seem trivial, but... One of the major signs of the body getting too cold is shivering. Um, that's your body's effort to try to warm itself up. After that warning sign, Metro Health explained continued exposure means frostbite and even drops in cognitive thinking. So if you can, stay inside or dress warmly. There has been an increase in cold weather emergency calls. We had uh, 15 uh, calls for service last week for uh, cold related emergencies. Mainly the elderly and the homeless. That's why the city is working with several charities and agencies, including the Coalition for the Homeless and local shelters. We just try to take advantage of the space that we have and try to get as many as um, people we can off the streets. Um, we really uh, get to max capacity uh, at this time of the year. And as of Friday afternoon, there haven't been any space heater related fires and firefighters want to keep it that way. If you are using one, uh, make sure that you use one that is ha that has met and has been tested by the industry, uh, that has safety mechanisms built in them, uh, and that you know how to use them. Uh, some of the safety mechanisms are they ha they may have a timer, uh, they may have a feature to where if it tips over, it automatically shuts off. Fire and EMS are also preparing their staff with traveling rehab units to keep their workers warm as they respond to helping the public. It doesn't take very long to be out in the cold temperatures before you start to get affected yourself. And, you know, it's, uh, it's a challenging job on a good day. Ann Bowden, WLKY News.